Hey everyone, this is your girl Lala, aka the baddest woman of YouTube. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and also turn on your notifications so they let you know like, hey, you know, I uploaded a new video. Also, make sure you follow me on my so on my social medias. I'll leave that information down below under the description box. Also, make sure you cop my merch. Cop some t-shirts. Hey, and I got an I don't speak bum cell phone case. Hey, get you one of those. But anywho, this is part two of the Truth Behind Facebook groups of the social life edition so remember i told you if y'all didn't see the part one i'll leave that link down below so y'all can watch it so in part one i explained like hey this is the good part when it comes to joining these facebook groups now i'm about to go ahead and spill the bad part unfortunately there is a bad part and sometimes things can get a little ugly as well. So there's an ugly side of this too. Let me just go ahead and find some parking. So the bad part when it comes to joining these Facebook groups, you have to, for some reason, gotta show face like you wanna be known, like you want attention. I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to talk bad about nobody so nobody do not take this to heart if you do that means it might apply to you I don't give a flying fuck so pretty much how this works the bad part about joining these Facebook groups is that people want to turn around is she on the next one? okay I'm um, sorry, I just came from crystals. Uh, what happened was that people want to go ahead and they want to be like the popular people. they The popular kids or the popular guy, the popular girl. Whole nine yards. They, they want to be so bad well known. So bad. Once they get to that spot, there's some consequences when you're under the limelight. The consequences is is that people probably want to fuck you i ain't gonna lie put any butter the fuck oh god damn um people gonna want to fuck you and you can't get mad people gonna want to jump in your inbox you can't get mad because it goes by what you put out there it goes by what you post <coughs> in your eyes it could be like you posting, you know, whatever comes to mind. Because I post whatever comes to mind. I'm an asshole, for God's sakes. You know? Uh, I see where it's post is like thirst trap posts. I mean, I'm guilty of that too. But I do some RKO out of nowhere with thirst trap posts. So thirst trap anything. Because you wouldn't expect that from me because I'm a tomboy. So, and I'm always like aggressive and shit. So, I'm on some like... Get over here type of shit. I'm on that shit. So what happens is that you have people who constantly would just post shit just to stay in the limelight. And then what happens is it brings up the attention of other groups. So they start bringing those people in the groups but not pay attention to other members and then come to find out god forbid like with those other members those other members gonna be like okay so you pay attention to that person or those people all right cool i see where i'm at i don't know if i want to come to the event because i don't know what your post gonna be like real talk so with these facebook groups the bad part you gotta have thick skin you gotta have some thick skin shit and mind you, when I first started, remember I told y'all my first one, I was not in my right state of mind. I was having anxiety. And plus, I was a little socially awkward. But until I snapped back into reality and dealing with people who I felt like I thought they were cool, but now I got to watch them. Yes, I got to watch them. And if this does not apply to you, get the fuck away from me. I don't want to fucking hear it. Don't ask no questions. So, once I got to the realization of how people work in these Facebook groups, I turned to Triple H. It's time to play the game. 
I started being an asshole to everybody. But now here's the bad part again. People pick and choose of who can say what. I'm gonna say this again. People can people people in these groups pick and choose of who can say what and do what. I'm gonna tell you why. If you're not the popular girl or the popular guy, if you're not the one that's well known, and you're not even like a pretty face or a good looking dude, they're not gonna they're gonna look at you sideways like, why did you say that? Why did you do this? True story. I remember I did something on the boards, right? I did something. I was talking to mad, to shit to mad dudes. It was all fun and games. How is it I'm getting approached? Approached about my behavior. And because the person who I freaking came at boohooed to one of the admins about me. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing this shit up. Oh, no, no, no. I'm bringing this shit up. And if somebody asks me what happened, trust and believe, I'm going to tell. So, the person who boohooed and cried to the admins about what I did, I'm cool with that person. Never understood why. That person couldn't approach me about it. I had to get approached by somebody else. So, then, I was like, alright, cool. When I see that person, it's a wrap. But knowing the fact that I know that person is not going to come to events, I inboxed the motherfucker. I told him flat out, hey, partner, whatever I say in the board, it ain't nothing against you. It just means being an asshole. Person replied back, it is what it is. All right, kept it pushing. Shit like that. People pick and choose. And then even after when I got when I was told about this, I even went on the board and said, look, if I offend anybody, we can talk. Come to my inbox. Don't worry, I don't bite. That means I'm not scared of fucking at this point, we all of adults. So if there's an issue, come to that, go to that person and talk about it. A lot of people these days in these Facebook groups, they don't do that shit. Another bad part that we have going on, these subs. These shots thrown. It's like when somebody feels some type of way, niggas wanna put the niggas wanna post subs. Niggas wanna throw shots. And it's a back and now. It's a back and forth situation. Why? If there's a problem, if there's an issue, why you can't talk to that person? I never understood that. Then you got and then with those subs, when they be on some like talking all that shit, but then when you see that person, crickets, crickets, because where I'm from, back home in New York, we don't have time for that uh back and forth shit. Oh no no, it's on site. Fuck that, it's on site. All five boroughs: Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Staten. The Bronx. We don't got time for that. All that back and out, back and forth. No, it be on site. The fuck? Oh no, y'all got me fucked up out here. Mm mm. Yeah. Mm. Fucked up. I don't know how things are run here, but I know we adults, so we got an issue. You, you, you pull the person aside and say, hey, pot, I need to talk to you real quick. Another situation is, and it's very well known, is like the whole fucking, the whole sexing. Like, okay, one person has sex with somebody in one group. Somebody else has sex with somebody else in another group. Everybody's just fucking each other. We're all adults about it. The only thing is that once it's put out in the open, chances are you may look at it as a hoe. I'm just, I'm just saying, you gonna be looked at as a ho, a ho, 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 ho. And if you out there in a relationship and you out there fucking somebody else, 
best to believe, whoever you fucking, you better hope and pray to God that person don't snitch on you. You better hope and pray to God your own people them don't snitch on you. Okay? Because there's a lot of people out here that be in relationships, fucking around with somebody else, and it's not even like, y'all not even like in an open relationship. Like, y'all open to three sons, four sons, five sons. No, 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 no. You got people out here sneaking and geeking. But when shit comes to light, there's no turning back. And then nine times out of ten, that person turns to a bitter ex. Throwing subs. Screenshots. Throwing shots. It be all fucked up out, up out here in these streets. I be like, God damn. Like, are, are y'all still together? Or are y'all yeah, working it out? What the fuck? What's going on? There's like a whole telenovela in these streets. I swear to God. A whole telenovela. And then, there's some parts that gets real ugly. Where, if you fell out with somebody, or you fell out with some people, that's when shit start, like, people just start opening up wounds. People start telling on each other. People, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, husbands get called. It's like, to the point... Like, okay, y'all doing all this. So what's going to happen when y'all meet in person? What's going to happen? And then, you got whereas people who are like the popular people, 9 times 10, they all got the shit together. And y'all can't look at me and say, I'm a hypocrite. And the shit, I don't got my shit together, but I'm working on it. They will use their looks. They will use their charm to lure people into these groups or to lure people to these parties nine times ten like some of these people like i never i would say hi to or bye to or have a small conversation here there will just rko randomly hit me up see if i'm going to some party go to their party no nigga i'm in, I'm in my fucking bed sleep fuck out of here if i didn't respond to the fact that i'm coming don't RKO out of nowhere hit me up with that shit. The fuck? And then, here's the ugly part. And remember I said, you gotta have thick, thick skin to survive in these Facebook groups. You know why? Because from what I noticed, it's a competition. It's a competition. I don't see it with guys, but sometimes I see it with the girls, where they compete to get the dude's attention, and they compete hard. Look here, I don't do that shit. If I want to compete, put me in Mortal Kombat. I don't mind fighting for Earthworm. Hell, y'all know I'm a wrestling. A lot of people knows I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling geek. Put me in the Royal Rumble. Hell, put me in Money in the Bank. Okay, I don't mind climbing on top of a goddamn ladder, snatching up some briefcase. I'm, I just get over my fair rights. But y'all, like, no, I'm not competing to get some niggas' attention. The fuck, if anything, I'm an inbox ninja. I inbox that nigga. My, I inbox to do it myself. Hey, how you doing? Hope all is well. You good? All right. Now, if I choose to flirt with him and he don't like it, I keep it pushing. I'm not going to try. Fuck you mean, fuck out of here. And then, the overall thirst trapping. The overall thirst trapping. It could be what it said in the status or what type of pictures you post. You got to watch what you post on these Facebook groups because if it's anything lewd or sexual, if you're doing it constantly, you cannot. You can get upset if you want to, but nine times in, a lot of people going to jump in your inbox. Some people going to get mad because in their minds, 
you thinking like you want to get fucked. But not the case. And one more thing I kind of noticed, and this is back to what I said. A lot of some of these Facebook groups, they're very picky. Looks wise. They're very picky. And I noticed that. At first, it bothered me. Because I felt like I was back in high school. Like, growing, even growing up, I felt like I wasn't pretty. Oh, I thought that shit. At first, it bothered me. But then afterwards, I was like, ah, fuck you, bitch. I'm the baddest woman of you two, motherfucker. A.K.A. Brooklyn, because that's how I used to be called Brooklyn. From up top, from New York. From Brooklyn, New York, to be exact. From Crown Heights, if we wanna get if we wanna get to the nitty gritty. Nah, fuck that. I ain't gonna let that shit bother me or phase me. Fuck out of here. I wake up every fucking day to go to work. Deal with deal with the foolery at my job. And if I'm not working, guess what I'm doing? I'm doing YouTube. So I felt like, nah, I'm up here right now. But where you got all these girls and all these dudes, they, I'm going to tell you this right now, beauty fades. So all that beauty you have ain't going to last forever. So sometimes you got to use your brain. And majority of the people they attract is either, it be the wrong dude. I'm just saying, the wrong dudes, the wrong females. And then there be some females and some dudes that be reaching. Reaching, like say if some sh they had a falling out with somebody they like or they was with or they was fucking. They, oh, this is when it be petty. This is when it's the ugly part. It be some petty ass posts. And any admins or moderators, mostly admins catch that shit, they immediately take it down. Some will keep it up. But some would just have to take it down. Like, ah, oh, you can't be doing this, bro. You cut it out. Stop it. And furthermore, people choose pick and choose if they want to fuck with you or not. Only because they need an extra body. They need a body to show up to their events. Which that's fine. But there's a way sometimes people do it. And they do it so fucking ugly. It's like They'll talk with you, they'll vibe with you, and then afterwards, like, you don't hear from them afterwards. I'm just saying. They're, those are the people, they feel like they up here. No, motherfucker, you down there. You me and Satan right now. There's some people, I could, I, in, in these groups, and I'm not, if you feel like this is applied to you, well, then you are guilty as fuck. They feel like, whereas everybody is for them, it is not the case. I've seen it whereas people will pick in, people will bring people in these groups to see because of the fact that they know who they are, because they're so called popping. No, that's not how this works. And then another thing too, you gotta be careful who you call friend, because not everybody's your fucking friend in these Facebook groups. They're associates, but they're not your friend. Because once you fall out with them and your back is against the wall, then you're chopped and screwed. I seen it where people are, I seen it with my own eyes. People fell out in groups. Fell out real bad because of the shit that they was doing. I'm surprised I'm still in these groups because I'm an asshole. You feel me? But the only difference is I don't have time to sit there and go back and forth with people on the boards. Me, if I see you, I'm going to pull you aside and we're going to have a talk. I'm going to pull you aside if we had a discussion over the inbox and I was not feeling what you said. You left my black ass on red. I'm going to pull you aside. Politely. Pull you aside and say, hey, do we have a problem? Because I don't want to feel like I'm coming to these events and I have to feel like I have to square up or something. I don't know if you got bitches waiting for me. You got people waiting for me. I don't want to feel like I, I got to put somebody in the walls of Jericho or a sharpshooter or body slam him or something or send him to Suplex City. I don't want to feel like that. No. No. So sometimes you, you got to fill people out. 
No, just fill them out. If they don't want to be bothered with you, don't bother with them. But the main thing I always tell people, keep that same energy. The same energy you have on the boards, the same energy you have those inboxes, you see those people at the events, don't come, hey, friend, no, fuck you. If anything, I'll pass your ass straight and not give a flying fuck and talk to your friend after, talk to your friend that's sitting, that's sitting right next to you, right dead next to you. I would not even pay you no mind at all. Would not give a fuck. Until probably where you probably will look around and try to figure out, okay, what's the problem? Da, 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 da. And I bet you nine times out of ten, they're going to tell their friends about it, but they're not going to come, come to the person about it. They're not. The person who passed you straight, you're not going to go talk to that person. You're going to talk to your friends about it. And then your friends probably, their friends probably go back and tell you about it. And then if you are kind of like me, I'm like, well, you need to go back and tell your friend to come see me. We're not doing this back and, back and now, back and forth. No, 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 no. We're not doing that, Ross. No. No, 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 no. So, y'all learned about the good part. Y'all learned about the bad part. And y'all learned about the ugly part. And now, the other ugly part is you're going to end up having enemies and frenemies. You're going to have frenemies whereas y'all don't like each other. You know, y'all see each other like, mm, hey, hi. But then y'all still talk shit about each other. You got enemies. But... What happens is that there's a saying, my enemy is my enemy is my friend. Sometimes your enemies could be the one, they, when you have enemies, then afterwards, if you have more than one enemy, oh, motherfucker, you in trouble. Because then those two enemies could join forces and then turn against you and then you're screwed. And then you're like... You don't know what to do. So, and another thing is, with this group life, you can't get sucked in. Don't get heavy. Don't get in too deep like you Omar Apps, like in too deep with him and Ella Cool J. No, because Omar Apps, he got real too deep. If this nigga forgot he was a goddamn cop. Damn. This dude forgot he was a cop. Don't get too deep in these Facebook groups because it's not your life. Before that, you had a life. Continue to pursue it. Because if you don't, a lot of bad shit could come after this. A lot of ugly shit could come after this. So far, I haven't seen nobody fought yet. I haven't seen a fight yet. Nobody throw hands. Nobody say, you going to get these hands. No. So far, it's been a lot of back and forth. A lot of... Oh, and another thing, too, that I learned, and I learned real quick, if you are not good with the admins or moderators, and they do not fuck with you, Either you will be in that group to the point that they make your life a living hell. To the point you want to leave. Or they're going to kick your ass out. Trust and believe. I've been in a situation that. And this is not probably like. Let me see. The E-Fan situation. Y'all already know. I mentioned that I got kicked out of that. But. There's some situation that I was in that I got subs. Shots thrown at me. Over some dumb shit. And nobody did not come to me. About what the fuck was my problem. Because I have not said nothing. People felt like I had a problem with them. But still. I have not got approached. I only got approached by somebody that was in the middle of that situation. To get turned around. To get kicked out. I'm like oh that was cute. But my life still goes on. My YouTube channel still standing. I'm still standing. I'm still alive and breathing. So my life goes on. So for that to happen, I felt like, oh, that shit's funny. Because I had gotten approached by somebody telling me that I had a problem with, if I had a problem with somebody because, oh, if I had the person blocked. And because that person was told that I was making posts about her. But I'm thinking, I don't know this person from a box of rocks. So how I make posts about somebody that I don't fucking know. So when I approach that person via message, I don't think that person read it. Because it would have been left on read. So then afterwards, people was throwing shots, throwing subs at me. 
as time progresses, I sat there and took those beatings. But when it was repping time, when I was there physically, ain't nothing fucking happened. And they like, Lala, why you? I don't fucking care. It's my channel. I'm going to tell the truth for nothing but the truth. So help me God. Okay? That's the thing with people. You talk the talk in these Facebook groups, you better dare show off the walk. And then, I know this shit is going long. All I can say is that I want to put this out there one more time. I'm not here to drag nobody. I'm not bitter. Bitch, right now, um, when this airs, I, I may be on my cruise already. So, a bitch going to be out here having fun. I'm out here making this money. I'm not homeless. I'm not jumping from couch to couch. I, I'm, I'm not um, sleeping under nobody's bridge. I'm good. I'm not doing this because I'm bitter. No. I'm doing this because I can. Any questions or concerns after you watch this video? Hey, comment down below. I will spawn back as as much as I can. Because remember, I'm, I'm going to be on my cruise. So the way the internet going to be shaked up and all that. I will spawn back immediately as soon as possible. Hit me on my inbox. Hell, you see me in the van and you need to talk to me? Pull me aside. Don't make no scene. Because I'm, I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to go that way. And you just be yelling by yourself. Okay. So this is all I have today. This is Lala. A.K.A. The Baddest Woman on YouTube. Oh, and there was another thing before I signed off. The one thing I know is about people in these Facebook groups. They started to follow behind the trend of Eddie, the late Eddie Garrett, late Eddie Guerrero. Lie, cheat, and steal. Okay, y'all be lying about yourselves, cheating on your significant others with people in the groups. And y'all just stealing, 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 stealing. Y'all be just want to be. The whole thing was like people steal members. <laughs> All I can say is that people steal members from each group, and that's fine. I don't give a damn. And pe but the bad part is people make big deals about it. Like they make a big, huge deal about it. Like, oh, this person is known for stealing people from the group. And it's like, once you join a group, they feel like you got to be loyal to them. And that's it. I'm like, hold up. I don't remember signing a goddamn contract. The only contract I remember signing was getting my upgrade on my iPhone. Shit. Not recording on right now. But that is all I have today. And let's see how many Facebook groups I'm going to get kicked out of after these videos get released. Till then. Peace. There's one more thing I need to add. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. The bad part and the ugly part with these groups is this whole inbox shit. Well, shorty was in my inbox. Oh, well, he was in my inbox. Look, everybody be inboxing each other. Shit, I inbox motherfuckers all the time. Him? He a man? That's your girl? Y'all trying to play a sign together? Y'all trying to... What's going on? So ain't nothing popping off. Nothing happened. Probably was each other's inbox. I probably at one time. Okay. You want a cookie? You, you want to go star? What's what's going on? Nothing? Oh, okay. So, anytime when someone be like, oh, you mentioned somebody's name, and then they RKO out of nowhere, be like, oh, well, he was in my inbox. Oh, well, she was in my inbox. And, shit, shut the fuck up. I didn't ask you that. The fuck? Now, if we was trying to, if trying to, y'all trying to get something going on, then you could get that information. If not, then no. Um, and on top of that, all this inbox and shit, oh, this person, that person was in my inbox, and y'all trying to get something going on, y'all better come up with some receipts. Y'all better start screenshotting. Okay. Till then, okay, I'm out now. I'm gone. I'm, I swear, I'm gone this time. Bye.